A second hard winter is on its way for some Kaikoura businesses. After a summer season interrupted by cyclones and other wild weather, the main route into the town only reopened last December after being shut for more than a year in the wake of the magnitude 7.8 earthquake in 2016. Thousands of tourists flocked to the town until Cyclone Gita hit in February, closing the route once again. Now some Kaikoura businesses are facing another tough winter and some are wondering how they'll keep their doors open. Logan Church reports from Kaikoura. Karen Barwick's cafe and ice cream bar, Poppies, serves up homemade ice cream and home-cooked meals. But after a stop-start summer, Karen is wondering how she will keep the doors to her business near State Highway 1 open. We've had to diversify a lot. We've had to do um, very long hours um, just to stay open and um, we've done that. But now that winter's here, um, ouch, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to survive uh, the next two or three months. Just this week, heavy rain and a blocked drain flooded out at least one shop. Wild weather and seismic events are now a part of everyday life in Kaikoura. And even though locals are trying to remain positive, Karen Barwick says it's taking a toll on businesses. It's just one day at a time still at the moment. And, and like that for a lot of us, I mean a lot of businesses just shut down. We don't want to do that, but it may come to that. We'll just shut down and pay rent and pay our power and save money elsewhere. But you just have to do what you have to do. Megan May, who owns Wildflower Botanicals, had to lease part of her shop space last year just to keep afloat. Heading into winter this year, she says she still takes each day as it comes. Winter's never good here. Um, you do, everything slows down, people have to always put things away to get through and a lot of businesses just have to close down because they can't afford to open during the winter. So. Um, yeah, I think I'm just taking each day as it comes. I figure I'd turn up and see what happens. <laughs> Penny Betts owns Gecko Gears and had opened a second store over summer to serve the torrent of tourists that travelled State Highway 1 after it reopened in December last year. Up to 5,500 vehicles used the route daily. She plans to close over winter as the tourist trade dries up and take a break for the first time since the quakes. And I'm just I'm just going to close down for a time, take some time out, try and sort out some other stuff that's, you know, sitting around today. We knew too we need to go away and go and have a holiday, have a family holiday, recharge the batteries, and when we come back we'll just be, you know, hit the ground running, basically getting ready anyway for summer. Kaikota's mayor, Winston Gray, says bad weather can cause serious problems for the tourist-dependent seaside town but he's confident there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I mean the last couple of weeks it's been wet and we've had the gitter, we had road issues. Uh, it's not a big impediment but like we've had the road closed probably a couple of nights this week so we're, that probably doesn't help a lot. Kaikoura businesses are now keeping their fingers crossed and hoping States Highway 1 can remain open while they wait out the rest of winter. In Kaikoura for Checkpoint, call Oak and Church Tanay.